Alrighty, hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we have uh, pretty much the announcement of a beta patch for uh, Medieval Dynasty. It is a patch that you can opt into. And uh, we have received a lot of changes, fixes, and updates to this patch right over here. So we're gonna go over this post and uh, see what it's all about. Like always, I'm gonna link this down below if you want to uh, check it out, join the conversation, like it, whatever you wanna do. But uh, yeah, let's do it. So. Join the uh, 1.2 public test now. Hello everyone, we'll, uh, we'll be testing a big update on our Steam beta branch. Some of you probably have not done this before, so we have a small guide. Uh, prerequisite, you must have Medieval Dynasty in your library. Obviously, the procedure, open your game library, right click on Medieval Dynasty here. It's kind of the same thing we did with Bannerlord, but for people who don't watch um, my Bannerlord videos, it's very simple. You go to your library, you right click, you go to your properties. Um, then you want to go to betas and then from this drop down you will pick um, what beta branch you want to play on very easy you press close and then you launch it super easy uh, steam should not download this version of the game yep um, please save your live version save games before accessing the beta branch just in case something goes airy your saves can be found right over here there it is the patch notes can be found here there it is for your convenience here are the notes as well all right, so this is the patch notes right over here. And I'm just wondering, is it a different patch or is it the same patch? Never mind. Uh, okay, so let's do this. So here are the patch notes for all the new stuff added. So added, uh, new items have been added to vendors. Very cool, we will check those out, see what else is added. Then we have Russian language, Japanese language, French language, Portuguese uh, language. Uh, Czech language, Turkish language, very good, that's a lot. It's adding a lot more player base, you know what I mean? By adding all this, very cool to see. Uh, added delete and uh, home, etc. to keybinds, cool. Barrels for salting in hunting lodge one and fishing hut one. Okay, so those were added, another thing you can do. The possibility of producing salted fish and dried fish in fishing hut, there it is. The ability to control production efficiency of fish, salted fish and dried fish and fishing hut the possibility of producing salted meat okay so they added the barrels for salting and obviously then you can um do um salted fish salted meat in their respective place either the fishing hut or the hunting lodge very cool the ability to uh control collection efficient efficiency of clay salt rock and limestone and excavation shed okay okay so you control how much you want to uh intake and you have the ability to con uh, control collection efficiency of rock, salt, and iron in mine. The ability to control uh, production efficiency of meat, salt, and meat. Okay, so you pretty much now can um, state how much you want to produce and when you want the workers to stop uh, producing whatever you want um, them to pretty much stop producing, right? Either it's mine or meat or whatever. So, uh, very cool. The possibility of producing planks in the woodshed. Okay, you can make planks now. Uh, the ability to control production efficiency of logs. There it is. Another thing that you can control how much they uh, get. Very, very cool. Cool to see. Uh, then we have fixed. Optimization of map loading times. Various quest fixes. Uh, knife position for female hunters while skinning animals. Knife position for female... Okay. Torch position for patrolling female NPCs. Okay, so some minor... Um, Fixes to house, uh, what's it called? Female NPCs hold stuff, optimization. We have numerous fixes in refreshing the production status of items. Okay. Generic quest reward after loading the game. There it is. Coins have have condition other than 100% and don't stack. Okay, so this was fixed. All right, all right, all right. So coins now should all be 100%. I was about to say, I, I thought it was added. I thought it would have been kind of cool. Like, there's some good coins, some bad coins. That'd be kind of cool, actually. Uh, quest goals with uh, assigning peasants to work doesn't update on objective start. Now it will. Age updates for NPCs. There will be the correct age. NPCs getting stuck in sitting or sleeping states uh, should happen less often. There it is. So it's kind of fixed, but it still could happen. If cauldron crafting animations are fixed, stove crafting animations are fixed, player position when crafting a stove, and torch condition restoring unequipped. All right, so a lot of visual changes and in, uh, in animation pretty much for this. Now updated, so change Night Howl quest so that it always gives some gold for completing it. Boom, we get some gold now whenever we complete that quest. Then we have pig and piglet sitting animations so that 
Uh, they no longer stick out of the pigsty. There it is. They're going to stay where they need to stay. Then we have reduced consumption of stamina while running. Reduced consumption. That's very good, actually. So if you get up, uh, that's very good. Because I always uh, advocated for you, for uh, what's it called, for you to level up your uh, stamina as fast as possible and get that 30%, um, what's it called, reduced consumption. But now it's even more reduced. So very, very good. Reduced consumption of stamina in inspector mode, which is left alt. Also very good. Okay, so stamina's got a big buff to it. Uh, vendors now have random number of items. I like that. I like that. They usually always had like a certain amount of each thing. But now it's randomized. That makes sense. Uh, resource and food storage capacities have been increased. You keep more stuff in there. Okay. Hunting Lodge uh, produces random uh, mushrooms depending on the season. Very cool. Uh, gender specific uh, dialogues may not be relevant in all languages. Okay, so all the languages added here, it's probably not going to work for all of them, but I'm guessing for English it will. So very, very cool. Where were we? There it is. Uh, Polish transition updated. German transition. Uh, I said transition. Translation updated. German translation updated and Spanish translation updated. More language updates. There it is. Uh, productions work power slider for each profession in the builders detail and management tab. There it is. Uh, production of firewood and woodshed consumes logs. Production of firewood. Okay, good. So I'm guessing it didn't consume it before. So now it does. Very good. Set immortality for NPCs from non-player uh, villages. Temporary. Uh, temporary. Set immortality for NPCs from non-player. Are we going to be able to... Uh, it'd be cool if we could fight the other villages. I think that'd be very cool. But I don't know if that's what they want. Or what's what they have in mind. I'm guessing they would have to have like some place where they can kind of heal up. I don't know if it would be like a permanent death and probably get wounded. Because obviously they're, at, they're adding bandits soon. So we're going to see how that works exactly. Because the bandits have to attack somebody, right? So... Yeah, so they said temporary. Okay. Uh, restored missing original NPCs in neighboring villages. Okay, so some of them are missing. Now they're back. Uh, some building modules have new resource costs require planks. Okay, so obviously they have the... Uh, where is it? The possibility of producing planks in the woodshed. So obviously planks are going to be used for certain things. There it is. The villagers take food and uh, firewood from local chests into their homes. If there is nothing in the chest, they take it from the food storage and resource storage. Okay, so they prioritize here, but then they go to, uh, obviously, the other storages. Then we have doubled the amount of resources producing from farm animals by NPCs. Okay, so we get more uh, food and stuff of that nature. Spears range reduced by half. Okay, so spear got nerfed. Crossbow range increased by 1.5 times, so it got better. Uh, crossbow damage increased from 55 to 70, so crossbow got buffed. Spears got, uh, what's it called? Nerfed. Bow damage increased. Okay, bows got buffed as well. Recursive bow damage recru uh, reduced from, so just a lot of changes. Some are good, some are bad. It looks like the crossbow got a pretty good change. Some bows went up, some bows went down. Uh, the wooden spear went down, the stone spear went down, the iron... So spears got nerfed, and uh, the bows and crossbows overall got buffed. Okay. Uh, wooden spear durability has been increased from 3 to 4 uses. Good, make that 5 or 6. Let's get it going. But it's a good change to see. Stone spear durability... Okay, so all the durability of spears have been increased, and to counteract that, they reduce the damage. Which... For being honest, it's kind of like a non-change if we think about it. Because if you reduce the damage by 10 and then just add one more use, it's like you're still going to kill the, uh, the animal in four uses now instead of three. Which will break the, the spear the same way. I don't know. I don't know if this is... I don't know. I don't know if I agree with these changes completely. Uh, the wind set and beer HP have been increased two times. I like that. I like that. Having some very strong enemies. I think, um, in my opinion, I think the uh, the wind set should have been times two. The bear should be times like three or four, in my opinion. Bears are very strong. Uh, villages, uh, villagers eat food according to nutritional value. The greater nutritional value, the higher priority. In case the nutritional value is the same, food of lower condition is chosen. 
Makes sense. Very cool. Uh, wood value is now uh, visible in item details. There we go. That's a minor change. And lower dynasty reputation limits for next inhabitants. Okay, so you can get more people with um, less reputation, which people have been talking about. Overall, very, very good changes. I like it. I don't like the, the bow changes um, pretty much, but other than that, very, very good changes in my opinion. Uh, I said bow. I meant spear. But yeah, uh, there it is. So there it is. If you guys want to do the beta right now, instead of being on the, uh, I'm guessing the live patches, you would call it. This is how you do it. I'm going to link this um, post uh, down below so you guys can go check it out. And uh, ask me any questions, concerns, and like always, stay safe.